Hi, welcome to A Shot of Rock. I'm your host, Alex, and I'm here with Thera. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Um, I'm Dig, I'm the drummer. Uh, Caden, uh, vocals. Nice, okay, so you guys just got off tour with Snot, right? Yes. How did that tour go? That was fantastic. It's really <clears throat> probably one of the favorite packages I've ever been uh, been a part of, just hanging out with the uh, out with the guys and just really getting down with everybody. Lydia Can't Breathe was fantastic his legend is is amazing and then of course it's not snot and it's <laughs> in a good way yeah it's just wonderful and the guy <laughs> that they have carl was was killing it every night so it was it really, really was killed people every night every night <laughs> every night people were dead <laughs> but no it was it was fantastic so. i saw some pictures from it it looked like it was a great time and you guys have been doing this thing on tour now where you post videos like little short snippets ah, of videos yes. yes i was watching those those are really fun i really enjoyed them where did you guys come up with some of the little skits that you've done we spend a lot of time in a van i don't know yeah it's that'll it's, do it yeah nope. really it's mostly off the cuff but just being cramped up the the energy sometimes comes out in strange ways and you have to do something for it yes okay so this is the first night you're with mushroom head yep yes and you've played with them before we have not actually. oh you have not right Okay, so what do you look forward to on this tour, being with these guys in particular? Um, just being on a, a part of the package, uh, a higher profile band, getting in front of new fans, and part of something where um, the theatrics are, are kind of the norm, so we don't, people aren't as confused by what we do. Right. And you guys have an outfit that's more steampunk? Yeah. Where did you guys come up with that? <laughs> it was um, something we started doing about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, we, uh, right around the time that the uh, the first EP, the Ascension Construct, came out, mm -hmm. we had um, we always knew that we wanted to have something theatrical, a theme to every show. And we did, you know, a few different things, but a few of the guys in the band were really uh, big fans of steampunk, and then we kind of talked about it and decided that that. Yes, that thing. That is exactly what we're doing. And when you decided that, is that where you got your um, your kind of symbol from? The T with the oh, cogs behind it. Um, yeah, we had that the idea first, and then and then that came. Um, it, it's elegant. Yeah, <laughs> it I is. Like it. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's uh, a gentleman in in Louisiana, Heath Tollier, uh, designed the logo and a lot of the the original artwork that all the. Um, you know, from the EP to, you know, of course, to the logo and all the T-shirts and everything. So it's it's nice to have that that theme that kind of ties everything together and really cohesive and, and something people can latch onto and, and recognize. Plus, it's elegant. So. Elegant's always nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys just had a new CD come out in October, right? Or you had a new single? When, when, uh, yeah, a single. When, yeah. When was that? Was that October? It was September-ish. It's been a little while. We've been on the road for a few months now, so it all kind of... Oh, it was. It was when we left in September. Yeah. 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 In, on your site, though, when the song comes up, it says October 19th. Though. Oh, yeah. Well, we... It, it took a while to get it on the website. Okay, website. Yeah. that's what throws me off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, if you if you had been at the shows, you would have gotten it. But I would, I'm sorry, I fail. <laughs> I fail. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so you guys aren't signed by a label. So how do you go about releasing your music? Um, internet. Internet. It's really, internet. No. I mean, it, it's not in Best Buy or anything like that because we don't know any. Any, I think it might be better not to be. Yeah, it's, by, but it, it, the internet is a thing now, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. yeah. And and with the the physical distribution, it's basically us selling it mm -hmm. at shows. Um, it's it's nice to have more control over over everything and to um, see more uh, of what you put into it return to you versus having to take such a big cut from from a label or from a distribution right. company because did you hear the new um well chris from slipknot said that they don't no jim from slipknot said that they don't make any money off their cd sales yeah, it's merch merch is, a, is a, the money maker nowadays yeah for sure so you see a lot more intake from the merch definitely and and from the the cd because we we finance the you know the recording all the all the production, mastering, mixing, and and the pressing of it. So anything that comes back from it goes goes straight to us. So that's that's very nice. And um, 
Bandcamp is a wonderful platform for independent artists. Um, they have a great tool set, and it's very easy to to promote and, and distribute that way. So. Nice. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Do. Look at all my questions. Okay. Why do you guys call your live rig the Jeff Goldblum reactor? Um... Plus Jeff, they get started. Jeff Goldblum is fantastic. Up, yeah, he got brought up one time and it stuck. I don't remember why. Yeah, it's one of those things that fell off. It was uh, one of our last independent, like well, not independent, but uh, tours we booked ourselves was the Life uh, Finds a Way tour, oh, yeah. and we had the laminates with the the wonderful. There's a a painting out there. Someone took um, Jeff reclined in the Jeep from the Jurassic Park movie mm -hmm. and turned it into a fabulous watercolor. Painting, search for it. You'll you'll it's appreciate okay. it. I promise. But um, I have no idea why. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't. I can't. I say. know the how, <laughs> but I don't know the why. I, okay. Why not is probably the more important question. But we couldn't think of any Jeff Goldblum. If you're watching this, you tell us why. Because Jeff Goldblum. Well, I because feel like he'll know. He's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <right? Yeah. laughs> how would he not know? I love it. I love it. Okay, so you guys on your site, you say that you use a lot of your. Um, light light you emphasize light during your set yeah uh, well I mean unfortunately not not um, as much when we're when we're doing support for, for bands like this right. um, just because logistics of setup and mm -hmm. staging space but um, yeah on the headlining shows that we do we have a nice array of lights and things that it's wonderful that we use yeah we use them with our music Trusses. to make a, a nice beautiful little show it's nice well, who decides, like, or who designs it for you? Or do you guys design um, we yourselves? All, yeah, we all kind of just design ourselves. We got, um, I mean, we've been building the lights and the, the pieces, and then we sit down and, and see what, what should happen when. It's fun. <laughs> Pho photon riffing. Pho is yeah, photon riffing. And which photon actual, riffing. most of the actual um, writing of the lights is done by this gentleman and uh, Kessler, our, our sound guy. So yeah. they, which it, it makes sense as it's um, moving around a lot of, fun patterns so it, it really is, is very well suited for a drummer I'm a lighting designer so it's yeah. it's what I do I had to ask the question I had to ask it okay when you guys are working on your music do you have a writing process that you go by or is it just we're in the van we're traveling we're gonna talk about it um and I guess there's we, we just people bring like a riff or something to the table and we all just kind of attack it and then tear it down tear, completely. Tear it and sometimes <laughs> we'll write a song and then and then not use any of it. Well, that happens more often actually. We write a lot of songs that never actually get to the air because we just we just have no method. Things happen and eventually something happens and then we pull that thing. And then you were recorded, right? If you really yeah really exactly like yeah yeah it's 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 very democratic. Everybody's involved, but the uh, the ideas originate from different places like um you know sometimes piff will bring a, a riff in or a, a, you know an idea with programming on it um dig will come with an idea i'll sometimes write a stupid drum beat that sort of almost kind of makes it sometimes and then it's <laughs> it's a lot of fun same every everything from drums to programming guitars and even even vocal rhythms and 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 structure of the song is completely broken down and, and rewritten by, by everyone. Your, your answer just made my answer look so dumb. Do you want me to just edit it out? Uh, I mean, <laughs> the world can know how, how dumb I can sound, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a drummer. <laughs> I was actually just going to make that drum. uh, drummer. Drummers. <laughs> drummers. Uh, okay, so the new, si the single that you released, is that going to be off of a bigger CD that will be released sometime if it's good enough by the time we by the time we get there that's kind of the the fun part is um, the writing always progresses and you know you can kind of see that through um, from the Ascension Construct to Vane 1 and there were some things that were written uh, in between the two that we had planned on uh, being a part of it but it just we had progressed further and it didn't fit and it didn't really make the cut so maybe maybe um, are you guys in recording now? Not, not, well, well, I mean, well, not. <laughs> you got this little device, and you're recording this. 
Well, technically, yeah, we're recording. <laughs> um, no, we're we're writing. We have something like thirty some demos that we've been been piecing together uh, whenever we can, whenever we anybody has time in, in a venue or if we're holed up for a couple of days somewhere. Um, so the plan is at some point, sometime, to stop for some amount of time and record something. Well, how long have you guys been so, touring for? Because it seems that like you're uh, since, always on tour. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we had a little break. We, we left again in September. And what, what even happened over the summer? What was the time frame of that? Um, so we did some regional stuff in the spring, then the civil unrest for a few weeks in May, and then almost all of June, and then a good chunk of August. What happened in July? What happened in July? You just kind of skipped July there. I did. We might... We might not have existed in July. I don't know. Maybe we, we should, just kind of flashed out for a bit. Did we tour in July or all, I... Should we check Facebook? We might have skipped a month. Might have skipped a month. But, yeah, we... Uh, the, the breaks are getting fewer and shorter. But... Well, I, like, I, your snot tour, you went from that to here. Yeah, no break. Actually, <laughs> no break. We actually had to leave that one early, which was, was a bummer. They're, uh, they're going to Texas, and they're going to be warm. I that think they're there right now. We, yeah, we get to stay in the cold, so... Yay, yeah. Iowa. It's cold. It's warmer than it has been. Oh, it's Give pretty it. nice out today. It's almost. It's almost not. Yes. It's almost 40. <laughs> it's warm. Okay, so now I have some fun random questions. All right. Well, at least we'll pretend they're fun. Okay, so first album you ever purchased? Oh, Led Zeppelin 2. That I personally purchased or that I got? Either or, or both. Because I think the first, the first one, unfortunately, was... Uh, I can not remember the name, but like Nelly or something like that. Some something really. <laughs> That's fantastic. Not, not correct for for who I am. I don't know. Oh no! I take it back. Uh, Mickey Mouse jams. Nice. That was it. <laughs> that's fantastic. Definitely Mickey Mouse jam. That's that's metal. You should make a metal version of that, and then watch Disney sue you, because <laughs> that's what they do. Um, <laughs> Disney. Um, <laughs> what's one song that you wish you wrote? Uh, what's that? What's that song about? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Is that TLC Waterfall or by TLC. Yeah, that one. I wish I wrote that. That's what um, I, I, I have that song on my phone. I should say uh, <laughs> you, "You to Thank" by Ben Folds. Sorry. <laughs> hey, whatever one makes money. Um, let's see. That that question was asked to one of the guys that was on that metal show and they said happy birthday so every time someone sang it they had to give him royalties oh that's genius <laughs> oh that's really genius I don't remember who said it it might have been Josh Rand but I might entirely be wrong and someone will yell at me for it uh, first song you ever learned to play or sing uh, I I, uh, I think it was Metallica's Enter Sandman for me nice when I was a wee little lad Probably Hash Pipe by Weezer. Really? <laughs> yeah. We keep oh. making it blush. I yeah. love it. I love it. Okay. What's your one vice? Vice? Vice. The one thing that you probably shouldn't do, but you do anyway. Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm perfect. No. <laughs> Mine's sleeping. I could sleep for days. I feel like sleeping's important. Yeah, non-stop for like 15 hours. That's pretty excessive. That is excessive. What, what is your advice, Caden? You go first, I can't, I can't think. Uh, I'd have procrastination. But I'm, I'm procrastinating this answer here, so. Yeah. Well, I'm getting better at mine. Oh, okay, you're getting over it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say the same, I guess. Oh, that's terrible. Right. Most people do like drinking or stuff that's not legal in this state. What's wrong with drinking? How is, that, how is <laughs> drinking ever a vice? I don't know. Yeah. You do it too much. Okay, what's the weirdest rumor that you've heard about yourself? And it doesn't have to be with the band. Huh. I don't know, people don't really tell me rumors about me. Yeah. Um. Make one up. <laughs> uh, somebody once, once told me that somebody told them that I got a nose job. What? Which I think is weird because why would I why would I go with this? I, <laughs> if I'm gonna get a nose job, I think I'd go I'd go for like uh, Ashton Kutcher kind of thing. <laughs> so Ashton Kutcher. That was a weird rumor. That is a weird rumor. Yeah. yeah. Nose job. 
I got asked if I got a boob job when I was in fifth grade. In fifth what? grade? That's the time that people Wait, you do like that. you were recently asked if when no. you were in fifth grade. When I was in job? when I was in fifth grade, this kid walked up to me and he's like, Are your boobs real? Did you get a blue boob job? I'm like, Yes, yes. A fifth grader got a boob job, you're stupid. <laughs> that is really dumb. It is dumb. I don't know if I've heard any rumors about myself. Really? Yeah, because I think most of the, the things people say are true. <laughs> it's true. I well, mean, it, it can be a rumor and still be true. Okay. Um, wait, room. Oh. Rumors well, that be changes true. everything. <laughs> well, I know I'm okay. I don't know what you want yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want we'll to just ask the next question then. Um, best concert you've ever been to? Clutch. Ooh. I haven't seen them yet. Oh, they're amazing. They're full. They're Orbit Room, Grand Rapids. I'm going to say 2004. Stinking Lizavetta opened. They played th- for three hours. It was that's transcendent. A, that's awesome. That is pretty great. I, I suck at these questions. Every, every, as soon as you say it, I can't think of any concerts I've ever been to. Really? <laughs> Though I did see I did see an orchestra, uh, I think the Minnesota Orchestra, play um, a whole set of Led Zeppelin songs. With, oh, with, nice. a, with a drummer and a vocalist and a guitar player playing along. That oh, was so like cool. um, yeah. the Rock Symphony, the. Um, oh, shit. Now I can't remember their name. They played with Metallica. Trans Siberian Orchestra. Yes, thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're amazing. You are good at trivia. Okay. Wait, that was, that's a rumor I've heard about myself. Was good at trivia. Okay. Um, Nate, what are some of your influences in your writing? Oh, that's, that's a good question. I, I think for me, um, when, when I'm looking at drums anyway uh, Mario from Gojira he, he influences me a lot especially some of the newer stuff we're trying to do he's got he's got some sexiness in his writing <laughs> uh, Mike Patton great oh, vocal yeah. from Oblige the Death State and currently doing vocals for Fit for an Autopsy uh, uh, a lot of Justin Bieber really we yeah, go to yeah, a lot of course <laughs> of you know, course just, uh, Justin course. Timberlake, for real though. No, yeah, that's uh, yeah. Um, but uh, Meshuggah, Deftones, music. Yes, Tori Amos, like seven. It's seven hundred and thirty-one influences now. I think <laughs> we counted the other day. Did I have that right? I was. I don't think I was there for that. But oh, sure. well, yeah, we had. Yeah, a, we did. Yeah, we had an accounting meeting. Seven hundred thirty-one influences, so we don't. Feel we'll, bad if we can't mention them all. We'll right. Attach, we'll attach a PDF. Yes, it'll be in the link below. <laughs> it, it might not be. I don't, I don't think we have that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing <laughs> yeah, that. that. This sucks. <laughs> all right. Weirdest thing you've ever been asked to sign? Uh, man's chest. A fork. Oh, that's way weird. You signed a fork. Fork. Yep, somebody brought up a fork, uh, like a metal fork, and brought it up and, and signed it's it. It's metal. That is, is very accurately metal. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. A fork. Maybe they just. I have nothing else. Sign. I've I've definitely gotten, and I don't. I never know what to do with situations because it's always too loud to explain. But I've had people have me sign drumsticks that weren't mine. They were like somebody else's, and they thought they were mine. The fuck? Well, I mean, you know, they don't they don't know what kind of drumsticks I'm they using. Look, they look similar to each other. There's your yeah, so drumsticks. I unfortunately just sign and let them think it's mine. <laughs> Someday they'll try to auction it or something, hopefully, and somebody will call them out. And, Be like, And then they'll come murder me or something. You bastard. <laughs> they think it's fake, but it's his signature. Is what's going to happen. Okay. Um, biggest pet peeve you have about the genre? Elitism. Oh... Yeah, definitely, well, definitely. Uh, just narrow-mindedness about if you don't do this exact thing this way with this style and mm-hmm. everything else, then it, then it's shit. Like, that's right. that's yeah. awful. Go stop. read through YouTube comments. Stop doing that. Yeah, like, when, when have you, an when open we, mind. We, we've definitely played shows like where the fans were there for the headliner band and we were supporting, and you could tell, like, they just weren't having it because we weren't, we weren't, uh, too sceny enough, and we didn't have enough, you know, breakdowns and blast beats and all that fun stuff. Right. Which there's nothing wrong with uh, any of that. We love that stuff. We do. We love it. But it, it just sucks when people decide that that's the only thing. Yeah, it's music. Have some fun. You know? I enjoy that because that's one of my biggest pet peeves too. 
is when I go to a show and they're like, this has nothing to do with the other music or they don't even show up for the opening bands. Yeah, show up that's, for the opening yep, bands. Yep. Support oh, music. Hey, I'm gonna say this right now, another pet peeve, any drummers out there, don't take your cymbals off on stage. <laughs> just, just, just move it. Um, this, this is just one. I got my, my moment to shine there. <laughs> I love it. I love all kind of artist pet peeves when it comes to the genre because then you start watching once you start talking to them more and then you start when you're in the crowd you're like stop it <laughs> what are you doing you're making several people moderately uncomfortable and angry <laughs> bad 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 make everybody happy at all costs <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not a very good way to live your life either. it's it's not nope <laughs> okay. Piece of advice you would give to other bands. Like what? 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 Like other bands that are uh, haven't done anything or other mm, up and coming up and other coming. bands, people that do your pet peeves. Like uh, don't take um, your air off. freshener for the band. For the band. Um, get your merch. Freshener. Get your merch game in order and tour your ass off. Yep. Tour asses have to fall off from touring. Yes. That's important. But merch, merch, merch have cool shit for people to buy. Yeah. And vitamin C. Yeah. It's important. Important. You Stay want, hydrated. Don't want scurvy. Um, <laughs> a, a liter of whiskey a day. Keeps the doctor away. Are we talking about I don't know. the doctor whiskey? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you bribe the doctor. Yeah, bribe I'm healthy, right? Whiskey. That's how you stay healthy is yeah. doctor whiskey. Yeah. Be very happy. Okay. Yeah, everything but the whiskey part. Do it. But and then do the whiskey sure. part. And do do the whiskey part. After you do the or before. While. Well. While turning your ass off, whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, it's that. like it's like Askula is how you put it back. That's whiskey weird. first. Wait, is it how to go? Whiskey first. And that was it. Yeah. Oh, whiskey good. first. Whiskey first. <laughs> as long as you remember what happens at right. some point in time in the night. And if you forget what happened, you probably didn't want to know. No. Probably not. Just At least like you hope not. <laughs> okay, that's it for Shadow Rock. I'm your host, Alex. This has been my interview with Thera, and we'll see you at the Rock Show. Push the button, Jake. <laughs> Wrong button. Not even close. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> the red one! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it, Jake!